So I can get this skill for the getaway. Damn, that would have landed them. Would have killed that guy right there. Had that have landed. Yeah, he's scared. Now his hammer's down. Kill. She belong It's a she belong She belong Okay. Obviously. Oh, she belong Oh, oh, she belong mm, mm. She belong Oh, oh, she belong oh. Yo, just call me. Just put me in, coach. Like, oh god. Why is she belong is so good, dude? Like, ugh, nerf this character already, please, man. I'm so tired of Shibalonke walking around getting double kills in the jungle, dude. Like, eventually, you just gotta ban this character out, man. Uh, like, come on. Like, you know High Res knows he's OP, dude. Like, get your shit together. Get your shit together, High Res. Like this, this is like first pick first ban every game and it's just like ugh. I'm so tired of like having to play him or having to ban him. And, it's really getting to be a bit much. Yes. <laughs> she belongs <yeah. laughs> Back up and get all my OP shit. Uh, obviously, Heartseeker Jungler is the way to go uh, for this. So I'm not gonna be able to make it to the mid hybrids because I'm bad. But you know what? I'm Shibalonke. It's okay. Shibalonke does what he wants. Shibalonke does what he wants, and what he wants is to kill bad hybrids right now. I mean, I've already got two stacks. I'm, the game's practically over. Like, I mean, the game's practically over. Look how OP Shibalonga is. Look at the, he, like the Thor wouldn't even walk towards me, but he was so scared. He jumped over. Come on. Shit, what in ass? What in ass? <gasps> now, but see, Shibalanka has got the most OP getaway skill in the game, so I just walked away. Like, I wasn't even nervous, you know? Like, I wasn't even scared that he was gonna kill me, like, after he put me into the tower. You know? It's just one of those things where I was like, ugh, too much, dude. And you get a passive stack so early, and you just do so much damage throughout the game. It's just like, come on. Now I can finish my heart seeker and I'll start getting stacks there. And now I'm already double stacking by 4 minutes 30 seconds. Like, what is that logic? Double stacking already? I was stacking before the game started. Like, the top damage? Like, oh, please. Uh, Ridiculous, man. One of these days, I'm gonna have to sit down and somebody be like, yo, seriously, though, she belonged there. Like, and then this guy's just dead, dude, and like, Hercules taking the stack, so I don't get it because I can't, like, do any more OP. That'd be ridiculous. Ugh. <sighs> And now I have a blue buff, because why not, you know? It's one of those things, you know, you get a blue buff and you're like, you know, I like blue buff. Why not? And now I pretty much have unlimited supply of everything, like... 
two PPP with like, all those stacks I'm just getting for free. And now I have my bleed up to max. I'm just gonna bleed people and they're gonna bleed out their bums. And nobody likes to bleed out their bum because it hurts. And then they're just gonna complain. And they're gonna be like, I'm so tired of you tryharding. This is casuals. Please stop going all of this tryhard shit. And I'm just like, I'm sorry, man. Like, the stream, I told them to pick something, you know, ridiculous so it'd be fair. And then they're like, no, 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 no. You're going tryhard. She belongs at jungle. I'm like, everybody plays that, man. Come on. Like, we can't be playing OP stuff like that all the time. Like, it's just a casual game. And then Mr. Sax will be. Oh. Oh shit. And then sometimes you just gotta run around, you gotta run toward the jungle to get toward your Sylvanas, you know, really help out. Then you kill the Thor, because, you know, Thor's not even that good right now. Uh, you know, sometimes you just dash through and you kill a uh, whole ye because, you know, he's OP. Uh, you know, it's just, it's one of those things where you're looking at all these characters and you're just like, certainly they can't be killed right now. And then you just, you just Shibalonke them. And you just get your passive stacks up. And then you're building your heart deeper stacks at the same time. And you really just have to think about your life. You have to, like, sit down and reflect. You really have to reflect on your life, you know. Just, just sit back and really, you know, what am I doing with my life, you know. I'm sitting there playing the most OP god in the game, in the jungle role. You know, the most, the best role in the game, you know, the best god in the game. It's just one of those things, man, where you just have to really reflect on your life. Like, you really gotta just be like, man, I just gotta get this god nerfed, you know? It's just, it's just time to get this god out of here. I mean, your jungle clear is just so good. All your skills are practically AoE. I mean, you have an ultimate that blind. You have a raw skill, but as your ultimate, and I mean, we all know that raw skills are practically all ultimates. So, uh. so now Neath is getting ganked over in the left lane, and I could have ultimated, you know, to try to save her there. But, you know, that's OP. You know, I, I don't need to be about that global ultimate life. You know, I only want to use my ultimate, you know, when I'm in the fight. That way, it's, you know, it's like a little, you know, it's like self nerf you know, it's like pacing myself. Uh, I don't want to, like, make everybody, you know, quit because they're like, oh, he picked the most OP guy in the game. So I'm just going to kind of go ahead and, uh, you know, only use it when I'm at a team fight. Unless, you know, my team really needs it. Maybe if we're behind, you know, I would use it in the OP fashion. But uh, I don't want to be, uh, I don't want to be that guy, you know. I'm trying to build a fan base, and uh, you know, I just I can't be stomping on people and just making them upset at me. Uh, I don't want to do that, you know. It's not fun for anybody. See, right there, I made sure to use it because I I was here in this fight, and you know that's fair. You know, that's, that's not, that's not unbalanced, but that's just, you know, it's pretty fair. You know, I can just jump away from all of his skills, which, you know, that's not, you know, that's not fair. He rooted me, you know, why, why is it fair for me to get to jump away when I'm rooted, you know? Who, who decided that? That doesn't seem very balanced. That seems like, uh, seems unfair to me, you know? I should, I, I probably should have just stood there and, like, kept been, you know, being rooted. Uh, that would have been more balanced, probably. You know, I'm just gonna smack him with a poison dart, just very, just like a little, little bit in the butt. You know, just like, like a little, like hello. It's almost like a greeting, like hey, don't forget, I'm still here. You know, I exist. You know, just one of those things you gotta really, you know, be looking to do when you're playing uh, Shiba Inu okay, Jungle. You know, just like a little poke in the butt, just like hey, yeah, uh, you know, I'm a soccer ball. I like to play soccer. Uh, you wanna play soccer with me? You know, it's like a little, like a little poke. You know, it's a little hey, let's play soccer together. I like soccer. Do you like soccer? We like soccer. We all love soccer. Soccer, soccer. I met my brothers. We got two brothers. We play soccer. Soccer, 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 soccer. We play soccer. Sometimes this big guy comes around. He's like, you do move like a jaguar. I'm like, oh, thank you. Thank you. See, if you really want to build up your stack, you just pop, 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 pop. And everything's a one hit point, and now you just kindly fire up all your stacks. See, now you're going to have max stacks and a heart seeker. 
And then you get max hearts and you know, and then now you have mar little bit of metal. Now you have max stacks and hearts. So you can really it's just like uh, is this fair? And you can you can use this skill too, but like that's just kinda of, I won't we don't need to use it, you know. That's that's up there for being a little bit too OP. But you know, sometimes you just want to use it just for fun you know. Just to like kind of reflect on your life. Like what am I doing? And you can just auto attack people and you can just you can just kill them. Uh, there's nothing they can do about it because you are Shibalanke, and uh, Shibalanke is uh, is the best right now. Um, there's no real arguing this. Like you see, I pulled him right there with uh, my pull, and then I just you know I pretty much killed him with my Agni character, my Agni bombs. Um, you know, kind of silly that he can control other characters uh, to secure kills for himself. Uh, one of those things that uh, you know makes me question. Uh, what exactly was uh, being thought at the company, you know, like the fact that he can control your teammates. <laughs> just, you know, you gotta reflect on that. I've already got max stacks, but I'm trying to overcap. Uh, sometimes XB can get over 50 stacks. It's a little known uh, bonus for Shibalanke. He can actually uh, get over 50 stacks on all of his stacking. Uh, if you get just right, it's a low percentage chance, you know, so it's not, you know, it's not completely unbalanced, but it's a uh, pretty low chance, but you can, uh, you get up to 100 sometimes, and then it caps again at 100, and then it's that low proc chance again to get up uh, higher than 100. Uh, just one of those things, but it only works if you pronounce it Shibalanke. If you pronounce it, pronounce it Xblanc, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't proc, which is uh, kind of cool. Uh, you can see here that it looks like I'm going to die, and I am, but uh, Shibalanke doesn't lose any of his stacks when he dies, uh, because... He's an unfair character, obviously. Uh, that death, I pretty much gave them on purpose. Uh, it might have looked like I was dying on accident, like I kind of got caught out of position, but that's just one of those things I like to do to help out the community. Uh, you know, I, I like to be, you know, I like to be involved with the community. I like to, like, help people out. And so, so every once in a while, I'll just, I'll, I'll look like I'm making a total mistake. You know, I'm playing overly aggressive. Uh, I, you know, it looks like I'm getting cocky, and that's just because it allows people to kill me and then they feel better about themselves, you know? Uh, it's just one of those things that I like to do. It's, it's, it's just like a, it's a small thing that I can do, to, you know, for the community that I love so much. So as you can see, I didn't lose any of my stacks because Shibalanke is overpowered. Um, he is the best right now. There is no question about that. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, keep going ahead and getting my stacks higher because while my, my heart seeker stacks may have reset it is uh, weighed out by the fact that I can get it over 50 so I mean really it wouldn't be fair at all if I can get my stacks up to 100 but I couldn't lose any of them you know how, how fair is uh how fair is that really that's yes, not fair it doesn't even sound fair it doesn't even sound fair on paper so you know I lose some of those but I keep my other stacks because I can stack multiple times uh, once again, I'm gonna get pulled here, and it looks like I might be in trouble, but I'm actually not in trouble at all. I'm actually gonna turn this on to them and uh, look for some pressure, but I'm getting a little bit scared because, you know, Nox is the best right now. Uh, so you have to be careful about that. Be careful. See, I would pick up this buff right here. I'm gonna let it go to the Agni because I'm a team player. And I'm gonna let this blue go to this Hercules. But uh, a little little known thing about a Shibanke is you could actually pick up uh, multiple jungle buffs. Uh, like back in the day, you can pick up uh, all the buffs at once. Uh, it's just a little tiny thing about x -Blanc that they just wanted to you know, make them even better. Uh, just one of those tiny things that uh, most people don't think about when they're playing uh, Shibalanke. But it's good to be a team player and uh, let your team have some some, some buffs, you know, sometimes. Uh, you don't want to be a, a buff hog, you know. Nobody likes a ball hog. Oh, oh, sh Shibalanke sucker. Okay, okay. See, we can, we can kill this Anubis right now if we got a good full stun combo onto him, and that was a really good combo there by the Hercules. He, see, he's gonna let me have that kill because he knows that uh, I could get multiple stacks, you know, I could get more stacks up on my character right now. Uh, just, you know, it's a low proc chance to get above, but, you know, I, I could do it, and so he's gonna let me have all of these stacks because he's a team player as well. So that's, uh, that's really nice of him. I move, we're gonna move back towards uh, the enemy team now. I, I, I backed up uh, Shibalanke, the only character in the game that can teleport back to the base. So that's pretty cool. Um, I don't know why they gave him that ability, but he can, uh, they call it recalling, and he's the only character that can do it. 
Uh, every other character has to manually walk back. So that's a pretty big time save. Uh, you save just, I mean, there's so much time saved by this. It takes you just a couple seconds to go ahead, just teleport back to your base, and you can just walk out. Meanwhile, all your other teammates are walking back to the base. Uh, once again, just one of those hidden mechanics of uh, Shiba Loke that not many people know about. It's pretty, it's pretty crazy stuff. This is a pretty uh, heavy tutorial. I'm giving away a lot of secrets uh, right now, and I'm not sure how comfortable I am, you know, giving away all of these secrets about Shiba Loke. I mean, he already is top pick, top ban, but I guess now we're gonna we're gonna know why he is top pick, top ban. You see, uh, another big thing is Shibuanke can jump in the air without having to use the built-in jump uh, emote, which is uh, pretty uh, OP, in my opinion. Uh, the fact that he can he has a built-in jump before anybody else did. He was really prepared for jumping uh, uh, way before everybody else was. Uh, another little known fact, you can actually uh, jump over uh, uh, Thor walls with the Shibuanke uh, Bola animation. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, just a little known thing right there. I didn't do it right there because I didn't want to, you know, break, I don't want to break anything. You know, he's already broken enough. Uh, I don't need to be helping out with that at all. I'm just going to go ahead and kill this Nox uh, because I am pretty much uh, broken right now. You see, I've got full stacks on, on pretty much everything. Uh, I could help out my Sylvanas, but uh, he's probably good right now, you know. I don't need to help anymore. I'm going to go over here and farm, try to see if I can get above that 50 stack. Uh, a uh, soft cap for Shiba Long, okay. See, really not fair that uh, I can just totally split push. Uh, and it's kind of like I'm in every lane because my branching bolas, uh, a little thing here. So they hit the tower over here, but you see those bolas breaking out, out, out the back? Those are actually hitting other towers around the map. Um, uh, two break off from hitting the tower, and then it'll hit the other two lanes towers. Now, this doesn't work on phoenixes, uh, so that's good. Uh, that would have been too much. I agree, that would have been way too much. Uh, so it doesn't work on phoenixes, and that's a good balancing mechanic. But it does hit all the other towers, and it's not full damage, but it does hit them for uh, approximately 50% damage, which is which is pretty good when you think about it. Uh, so that, that's pretty good. And it will hit different tiers. Like, I was attacking the tier 1 there, but it was hitting the tier 2 on the middle and right lane. So it hits the next tower in the lane. So that's pretty good. Uh, that's a great skill. I really uh, I really like that one. But it only works if your branching bowlers are active. So you have to keep that in mind. See, now that I'm back in this fight, I'll use my ulti. I didn't want to use it beforehand, because that would have been a little bit uh, a little bit OP. I mean, it's already OP enough that I can just walk up and kill everything, because I'm, I'm Shiba Lanke. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pop this uh, active called Sprint, and that basically just allows me to walk up and kill everything. Uh, you know, I mean, how, how is that fair at all? Well, that's not really fair. I'm just walking around kind of killing everything. Uh, it's just, it's just, you know... Gee, uh, also, see how these are hitting other minions? That's exactly how the tower mechanic works. You know, a lot of people ask me, they're like, oh, well, how does it hit other towers? Well, look, we'll do it on a minion, and then you'll know how it works on towers. See? You can see, you can see the bolas are going to find the towers. You can see they're seeking out, it's like a, like a heart-seeking missile. They're just going out to get the towers. Uh, it's pretty, pretty cool. Wonderful, wonderful pass. I really recommend, you know, playing Shibalke. Uh, all the time if you want a hundred percent win ratio in all your games but be be, be aware that uh, people will not be friends with you uh, you will not have friends any longer if you play uh, jungle Shiblanke and that's just because it's so good you know it's just it's just so good that people don't really understand uh, they don't they don't you know it's like uh, it's like if you want to play soccer at, at, at like a you know like youth like a youth under eights and then you showed up as messy you know it's just like it's not fun for anybody like you're just gonna score on them over and over again you're gonna step on their faces you can break their toes you can push them down it's not really fair see now they're gonna surrender and the game is over and you know and that's just because she belongs there and you see top kill player damage gold I mean it's practically by default that that happens and that's not fair for anybody uh, if you want to have friends, don't pick Shibalanke. If you're cool with not having friends, then Shibalanke is for you.